Hey, welcome back to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, and this here is Squeaky, my 78 uh, step side. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know, you've seen me refer to him as my race truck, which that's just kind of a, a little bit of a joke, but he is the one I'm gonna be taking to the drag strip, hopefully a little more, more often in the future. But he does have a, a, a good running 305, it's pretty wore out, but it's got a big cam in it. Sounds like a race truck. I got three inch exhaust with 12 inch or eight inch glass packs. Uh, I'll put some cards up here for you guys to watch, you know, some of the other videos or maybe down in the description below will be a, a link to the playlist for this truck and some of the stuff I've already done to them. So you guys can get caught up. Right, today, it's just gonna be a simple installation of hood pins because what race truck is complete without a set of hood pins? So stick around and we'll, I'll show you how to put some hood pins on. All right, first off, I'm gonna show you what kind of hood pins I got. They're just some uh, cheap Mr. Gasket brand. I got them from local parts store, uh, part number 1016. We're gonna pop the hood and figure out exactly where we want these. I'm gonna try to go right in this area. I'm gonna try to mount them on this upper radiator support. I may have to drill a hole on the back side so I can access the nut on the bottom side won't be too big of a deal I thought about using this existing hole that's already here but I'm not sure if it's gonna land right where I want it to on the hood I'll do some measuring and figure out exactly where I want them this hole is about 13 inches from the edge of the fender I still think I'm gonna put them out here. I like, I think I like the looks of them out here. Just kind of in the corner, will be all right. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is measure from the fender about how far in I want from the edge of the fender to here. And I'm thinking it's about nine inches to this body line. So I'm thinking around four and a half inches will be right in the center there. So I'm going to measure four and a half inches from the fender. Now that will give me my distance here. Alright, now I'm going to just make a center line on the, this rib here, which is about an inch and five eighths. So it's uh, about 13 sixteenths. Make a mark there. Go ahead and put me a center punch. All right, so what we got so far is just our crosshairs with our center punch. Now I'm gonna use my handy dandy step bit. All right, so we got a half inch hole drilled and these are 7 16 so I got a little bit of movement enough for some adjustability and now I need to make some sort of an access hole one side or the other so I can get a wrench in there to be able to get the nut on the bottom side. All right, so for my access hole I've just drilled a couple holes I'll take a die grinder and cut across there just to make a, a slot big enough to get a wrench in. All right, now I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with the uh, carbide bed on my die grinder. Now I got my slot. I need to make my slot big enough for my wrench to fit in. I'm just gonna drop the nut down in there. Started on the stud. All 
All right, there we go. Now once I get my hole in the hood, I'll, uh, I'll adjust how high I want it sticking up. Just for right now, that's good enough to get us to our next step. All right, now once we've got our pins where we want them, we gotta make a transfer from here to the hood. Uh, you can do some measuring if you want to, try to get it right, whatever. I just use a little bit of grease. Just put a little dab of grease on the tip of that. Drop your hood down. Nice and easy, you don't want to wiggle it too much. And there you have it. You got your grease spot. That's exactly where that needs to go. So I'll take a center punch, punch that, and we'll drill a hole through the hood, and that should be and that should be right where our pins need to be. I've got my pins set in and adjusted. It took a little bit to get the adjustment on them. And I'll take the little fancy little stainless covers, kind of get them centered on there. Use the supplied screws, put those covers on, and I'm going to try to find some some sort of wire to put around the clips so they don't get lost. I will show you what I'm doing with these cables here. I'll one put them on tables so that way when you pull them out you don't have to worry about keeping track of them. I just got it fastened to one of the bolts here on the radiator support. All I did was take just some wire you get from hardware store or Walmart or wherever you want to do it just for like hanging pictures and took a wire terminal pulled the insulation off and cut the end of it off so you just you end up with the, the end of it and then loop it around, crimped it, and there you go. Just make a loop on this end. Make it big enough for your screw to go through and then crimp it. And you'll have a fancy set of high speed racing wires for your hood pins. Alright, there we go folks. Look at that high speed racing hood pins for our race truck <laughs> well hopefully you enjoyed this wasn't nothing big or special but just in addition to our boy squeaky here if you like that uh, click on some of these videos over here maybe hit that subscribe button over here until next time y'all keep them square bodies rolling and we'll catch you later